All right, so we're going to get started on integrating Auth0 with our Angular 2 app. Now, before we get into the service, we need to just add some stuff to our system JS config file. And this, this really got me, um, really confused me for about an hour or so looking into it uh, because it just wasn't working. So what you need to do is you need to go into your system JS config file. And we're going to go down to where it says other libraries, and we're going to add um, our Angular 2 JWT component into this map object. So right under here, we're going to put in Angular 2-JWT. All right, and then a colon, and then over here, we're going to map it to node modules um, slash Angular two dash JWT slash angular two dash JWT dot JS and that dot JS was what really got me because a lot of the examples online did not have that um, so make sure you do add the extension okay and then down here in our packages we also have to add it so I'm gonna go right here and let's say uh, we're going to wrap this in quotes, angular2-jwt, two dash JWT. make sure you put a comma after the object, and then we're just going to say default extension and JS. All right, just like that. Actually, I'm going to put this in double quotes. So let's go ahead and save that. And then another thing that um, threw me off a little bit was we need to add a script tag in the index.html file. So let's go in there. And I'm going to go and put in a script tag with the source. Okay, and then this is going to go to HTTP CDN dot auth. Actually, I'll just paste this in. And this is just this is a reference to the the lock file. All right, so you can see um, it's going to lock dot min dot js. And I did I didn't know that we had to. Uh, to use this because we installed the the lock file or the lock widget through NPM but it turns out you do have to have it so let's go ahead and save that and now we can move on to create our service so in the app folder let's create a folder called services and in services we'll create a file called auth.service.ts all right, and we're going we're going to use our injectable just like we did in pat in the past projects when we create a service. And that's going to be from Angular Core. And then we need to import something called token not expired and that's going to be from the Angular 2 JWT module. So token not expired and this is the way that we can actually check to see if we're logged in or not so angular 2 dash jwt okay and now what we're going to do is we're going to take that we're going to create a variable called auth zero lock so we're going to declare it i'm going to say declare var auth zero lock and set it to any. Okay, then we'll add our injectable decorator and create our class. So export class, and we're going to call this auth. All right, so now we need to configure auth0. And we do that by saying lock equals new 
auth zero lock. Okay, then we need to paste in our client ID. So if we go over to clients and auth app, we want to grab this here. Let's copy it and we'll paste that in. And then we need our domain, which is this right here. Yours will be different, obviously. And then there's also an options uh, parameter. So for now, we'll just put in some empty curly braces. All right, we'll just use the default options. Then we're going to add our constructor. Okay. And most of the stuff that I'm doing here is actually uh, in the documentation. If we go to quick start and scroll down, this is what we're doing right here. All right, so we just created our our constructor. So if we grab this, Okay, so we're adding the callback for the authenticated authenticated event. Okay, now uh, let's add the any type here just to get rid of that error. So what we're doing is when we're authenticated, we're setting an I, we're setting a local storage item called ID token, which we can get through that auth result object and then dot ID token. So we're going to store that, and that's how we can check to see if we're logged in or logged in or not now I do want to add something here that's not in that documentation I want to be able to get the user profile fields so things like the the email username things like that so the way that we can get that is let's go in here inside the callback and we can say this dot lock dot get profile and inside here we're going to pass in the ID token so we can say auth result dot ID token and then we'll put a comma and then a call uh, function and in here we can pass in error which will set to the type of any and then also profile which will set to the type of any all right, and then what we'll do is we'll check for the error. We'll say if error. If error, then we'll just um, throw new error. And we'll pass in that error variable. All right, and then this, to set the item, to set the, the ID token, that's going to go inside of that callback. Okay, so we'll say set token. And I also want to set the profile fields. So let's copy this. And we'll paste that in. And let's change this to profile. And we can get um, profile. Now, we want to store this as a string, so we're going to wrap it in JSON dot stringify. Just like that. Okay, so that is the authenticated event. All right, now we actually have to create a function that we'll call authenticated. So that's going to go outside of the constructor. All right, and all we're going to do in here is we're going to return that token not expired. Just like that. And if you look in the documentation, okay, we're checking to see if there's an unexpired JWT. Uh, this searches for an item in local storage with key equals ID token. All right, now we also need the login and log out. So let's grab that. And we'll put that right here. Okay, so all this is doing is calling this.lock.show. And then for the logout, uh, let's see, yeah. Put that right there. 
Okay, and all we're doing here is removing that token. Now we also want to remove the profile stuff. Okay, so we're going to remove item profile. All right, and I think that should do it. Let's say remove info from local storage. All right, so that's our service. Um, let's see, let's add public in front of this. Okay, and then we'll save it. Now we need to bring the service in. So we're going to go first to app module TS. And uh, one thing I, f I forgot to do is import the auth providers. So we need to do that. So auth underscore providers, all caps. And then that's going to be from Angular 2 dash JWT. And we need to add that into our providers down here. Okay, now let's bring in the service that we just created. So we'll say import auth. And that's going to be from services slash auth dot service. And we need to add that to the providers down here. So we're just going to add auth. All right, so let's save that. And then we're going to go to our app component TS and we're going to bring the service into there. Okay, so this will be services slash auth dot service. And we need to add that to the constructor to inject it. So let's say private auth and we'll set that to auth. All right, and I'm going to do the same thing in the other two components. So let's go to our home component. The import, the path will be a little different. We need to go dot dot slash like that, do it twice. And then we'll add a constructor just like we did here and inject it. Okay, same with the profile. Okay, let's grab the import. And there we go. So let's make sure we're not getting any errors. All right, good. We're not. So we set up our service and imported it. Now in the next video, um, we're going to create our login link so that we can actually open up our login and sign up box and, and integrate Auth0. So I will see you in the next video.